What up, Alchemist? Today I want to go over nested forms. Um, I've got a new app here uh, called Nested, and let's dive in here. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is get a user model. Uh, I'm going to generate the basic scaffolding and all that stuff. HTML, user, plural version. Just going to have a name. All right, got to add that route here to our router. Put that in there. Alright. And then let's migrate our database. Do migrate. Sweet. Okay. So what I'm going to nest for user is addresses. So let's say you have a user uh, model and a user can have multiple addresses of different types. Um, in our scenario, we're going to do a work and a home address. Uh, so this is a great example for something that you would possibly nest. So let's generate the model for that. Phoenix gen model address, the plural addresses, and let's do a type. That'll be like work, home, etc. Um, we'll just do a real short address zip. All right. And then let's get our foreign key set up here. References, users. Uh, that will set up the belongs to and the user ID um, field as an integer, and uh, link link those two together for us. Alrighty. Since we're just generating model, um, there's gonna be no route for it. So that will handle. Um, that will all be handled under our, our user controller and route. Let's migrate that in. All right, awesome. So we've got our user model and we've got our address. And then let's go get our model set up then. Hop over to our user. Okay. And then, so for this, we're gonna have to put in the relationship. So user can have many addresses and they will be nested address. All right. And then let's make that required. So you can't have a user without an address. And then let's take a look at our address model here. And you can see here that it automatically put that user in for us. Um, it belongs to user and appointed over to the right module. All right, we're all set. Let's get our form added so we can start editing uh, users with their address. User form, okay. So we're just gonna put it in right here. And what we need is inputs, oops, inputs for, and our form. Addresses, okay, and function AF. Just gonna abbreviate the form of AF. Okay, let's end that form out. And I'm gonna copy over this for our inputs. Okay, so put these gonna be AF, because um, that's our new new form inside here. Uh, we've got a type, okay, and let's copy this one since we have the AS and do that two more times. And the other fields we added were street, street. And the last one was zip. Okay, all set. All right, let's head over and restart our server so it picks up all of our um, new models and whatnot. All right, got that restarted. Let's head over to our browser. And make sure our user's working. All right, perfect. So let's create a new user here. Oh, what happened? We don't have any um, street. 
That's because we need to add these addresses to our chain set since we're building the form off the chain set. So if this is empty, then nothing's going to be output here. So let's head over to our user controller and come up to the new. All right. So we've got a user, and that user is going to have um, some addresses. Okay. And it's going to be a list of addresses. And then it's the similar to the user here struct. So it will be nested address. And that would do an empty one. But let's pre put in the types. So let's say this is work. And this one is home. All right. With those in there, we should have this in our form now when we're creating a new user. Let's head back. All right, perfect. So you can see now it's got our two addresses, work and home, and they're nested. So let's add a couple and see how this works. Water. Uh, one, two, three, bike. And submit. Uh oh, name can't be blink. This is Bob. Alright, user created successfully. Awesome. So let's come over here and give this an edit. Uh oh, what happened? Using this user, but it was not loaded. Please, please preload. Uh, pretty helpful error there. So what's happened here is the user here, we weren't preloading the association. Uh, so if you come over here and let's let's debug this a second here and see what we've got. So let's IO inspect. And let's retry that. Same error, hop over. And so if you see here in our nested user that we just inspected, it's got addresses and it says ecto association not loaded. So that's why it's not working here. This association is not loaded. Um, so let's go ahead and tell it on our edit model that we want this loaded. Okay, so we'll pipe this out. And we'll do repo preload addresses. All right, that should be all we need. Let's hop over here and try this again. And there we go, awesome. So let's say we need to change one of these. Oh, that should have been street. Let's submit that. Up, oh, having the same problem, uh, but this time in our update function. So we just have to add that to update. And we should be good. Repo preload addresses. Okay. Let's take a look. Resend. Repo preload undefined. Because we misspelled things always. Preload. You like apples? Ah, you like them apples. Perfect. So there we go. We edit. And we've got nested forms. All right. That concludes nested uh, forms in Phoenix. Next time I want to go over adding these dynamically and also being able to delete. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.